Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Show. Today I am talking about you, season three. So if you watched my other two reviews for the previous seasons, no, I like the show. Uh, I think this is the most campy out of all three seasons because we got season one, which feels like a very natural, I'm a creepy stalker guy and I get obsessed with this girl and then maybe I ended up killing her, spoilers. And then season two happens and season two uh, puts him in another relationship in a new location and we see the format going and we know what's going to happen. And then, oh, side swerve, she's actually crazy. She's also a killer and now she's pregnant. And now we're at season three where Joe and Love are married. They have a child and they are living a suburban lifestyle. And we soon find out that that is not sustainable because they are both crazy murderers. And at the roller coaster from there, there is a very large body count in this season as there are in previous seasons. And at this point, it feels like it's meeting a quota. They have the exact same like glass vault thing that they had in the two previous seasons. And this time they just did it because, oh, we're probably gonna need it. So the series feels really forced at times. There's a couple of bodies that really didn't need to be racked up. It really feels like we're just trying to make each episode really crazy and things are always happening. And the more people we kill, the more things that are, uh, the more is going to boil over and by the end of the season it's you don't even keep track of all the characters that are dead and there's so much going on joe was just creepy stalker guy and then he's like a complicated creepy stalker guy and then he has like little moments that like they try to make you care about him like he is completely in the mindset that love is the bad guy here and he's actually just killing people because but at the same time he is afraid that his son is going to be a killer just like him. He's afraid his son is going to evolve into something evil. And that's like an acknowledgement that he's evil, which I don't believe he thought that before. I think that they're trying to cram in like these little real world like marriage spouse problems, little plot threads that resemble real life relationships. It's like, oh, you don't love me anymore. Little things like that. And... There's so many things that they're trying to cramp in here that it just feels like way too blown out of proportion compared to some people who are trying to live a low-key lifestyle as they're trying to avoid the law, which was the original story. And of course, Joe, he gets infatuated with another woman. In fact, he gets infatuated with two women. The first one, you know, that was a big swerve. That was a big uh, cliffhanger ending, whatever happens to her and... I don't think that was a bad idea. It's just the fact that he immediately gets into the same scenario again. And the fact that we keep going down the exact same path, it feels a little repetitive. But right when you're thinking that, right when you're kind of like, oh, you're backing up, that's when the show hits its finale. And one of my main problems with season two is it didn't really have a conclusion. It felt like it right when it was about to hit its mark it pumped the brakes turned around and it was like see you for season three and this time we finally have that boiling point and after everything that happened in the season i don't think there could have been a better way to end it because it ended with a satisfying conclusion and it ended with the story actually being complete where they go from here if we're just gonna slip back into what season one was i don't know but as it stands right now uh which by the way if the show ended i think it would have been great Again, it just remains to be seen what they do for season three. But as season three ends, I think it's a satisfying conclusion. I think the show went off the rails a couple of times there, but it's kind of embraced that side of itself. It knows, hey, we're just kind of a fun murder show now. And it embraces that. And there are parts of that I really like. I really like Joe and Love. They are great the actor and actress behind them are great. They have wonderful chemistry. And again, these two could kill each other at any moment. So there's so much tension. But you know that they love each other too. And there's also these other characters who are really like putting a spin on it. Which I guess I can talk about them. There's another couple. They are basically like your California fake ass Americans. And the first half of the show, they are nothing but cringe. You hate them. You hate them to their core. But, like, you see little things in their relationship where you're like, oh, they're still a healthier couple than Joe and Love. 
and they're still not murderers. So by definition, they're better people than Joe and Love. So it's weird that there are these healthy people who you can't stand, but Joe and Love, you're kind of secretly rooting for at certain points. Again, this is a morally fucked up show, and it's going to make you think about your place in the universe. But the way that they spin it at the end, I love. The way that this couple's resolution turns out, it makes you root for them all over again. You knew they were the good guys all along, even though you still kind of hate them because they're douchebags. If anything, the moral is everyone is fucked up. Everyone sucks. Um, but I think it's, it's trying to say there's a couple good, couple good people out there. There's this really nice gay couple in the show, and they're they're awesome. And uh, you really are conflicted about the child in this show. Joe's son could end up being like him. It's really trying to elude that that is the case, but at the same time, he's just a baby. He doesn't know what's going on. And you're constantly like, where is the fucking baby? The baby is always kind of coming back into the show. Joe will be doing his stalking shit, but then he's holding a baby, so now... It's a completely different dynamic. And then there are certain moments where the show feels like it completely forgets that there's a baby. Like, you're watching Joe and you're watching Love. You're like, where's the, where? who's taking care of the baby right now? If anything, I feel like they should just have a big old time skip for season four. Maybe let the baby age a couple years. It could be a kid. Maybe they could do something with that. But it all remains to be seen. This season, I think I like as much as season two. I think it's a tie between this season and season two. The first season, as much as I liked it, it was just kind of like your standard stalker story. It wasn't like a whole lot more to it. Season two had a lot going on, but season three had some of the best character work. Despite it's campy and a little cringe sometimes. I didn't even mention their neighbors. There's affairs happening in between the family and there's a lot of weird shit happening with the neighbors. They act as an antagonist. It's weird, man. Like I said, the show gets off the rails a couple times there, but it is enjoyable popcorn fun. It is violence, drama, murder kind of show, and it fully embraces that. And I think that's okay. I enjoy it. I'm going to give you season three an eight out of ten. Solid season. I am, again, interested in what they're going to do for season four because, uh, where do you go from here? But anyway, that's all I got to say about this one. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts of you down below. And until next time with that, I leave you.